ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. Vice President of Cadillac, John Bowen. Cool. Thank you, David. See, that's how I know I'm in Atlanta, because I got a lot. Southern polite. Thank you yes. for that. Um, you know, this is an exciting time at Cadillac. It's, it's uh, really, really cool because it makes my job that much easier. The kinds of things that we're doing and the passion and the constancy of purpose around the whole corporation, really, around Cadillac, what it needs to be and where it needs to go. Um, and we really do aspire to regain our mantle as the standard of the world, which is a fairly audacious thing to say. How dare Cadillac say that they will be the standard of the world? Well, in fact, that's what we aspire to. And we know that we're going to get there by focusing on three dimensions. First, it always starts and ends with product. So leadership and product. I'll talk a little bit more about that. And then leadership and marketing. The way that we communicate and the way that we connect with customers is absolutely and then speaking of customers, that third dimension, leadership in terms of customer experience. Because when you put all of those things together, they can create truly an iconic luxury brand. Such that Cadillac is more than just a beautiful, high-performing vehicle, more than a catchy tagline, more even than a satisfying shopping, purchasing, and ownership experience. But a holistic whole. Because for today's luxury customers, it is about the experience. It's not about a transaction. It's about engaging with a company that cares about me, that knows me, and that really feels the way that I feel. And that's what we're doing at Cadillac. When we talk about customer experience, for instance, we are really gratified that third parties have noticed the kinds of changes that we're making within the company. For instance, J.D. Power and Associates, a respected third-party observer, not only in automotive, but across uh, all industries and services have recently released for the second time their Service Champions Award. This is 50 companies across a variety of industries and services that are the champions in terms of service, delivery of customer service. Cadillac made that list for the second time in 2012. Also, we're one of only three automotive manufacturers on that list. Notably absent from that list are BMW, Audi, and Mercedes probably with, without any question, at least at this point in terms of sales, probably the premium brands from the luxury automotive scene. So we know we're making progress in terms of customer experience. Now let me talk about product, because again, that's where it begins and ends. And our mission, in a single focused way, is to compete in the broad spectrum of luxury segments and to have segment-defining, segment-leading entries in each of those segments. And so when you ask us, why do we have confidence that the ATS is going to be a terrific vehicle? Well, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. And we love to talk about this particular uh, situation. The first generation SRX competes in the mid-luxury crossover segment. So that's you know, crossover size vehicles, mid-size in the luxury space. Think RX, uh, Lexus RX 350, that's the dominant player in that space. First generation SRX was number nine out of ten in that segment, so we were scraping the bottom of the barrel. And if we had been in the same situation, and if we were looking at an SRX just as it was about to come out, and I said, ladies and gentlemen, we will move from number nine to challenging for number one, but certainly a solid number two. I know you're polite in Atlanta, but you would have laughed me out of the room. You would have. Because how dare we say that? Look at where you are. There's no way you're going to make that happen. Well, in fact, that's exactly what has happened. The second generation SRX is now number two in the mid-luxury crossover space. And depending on the month, we've actually outsold the RX350. We've proven that we can do it. Our current CTS, absolutely a fantastic vehicle. Car and driver, 10 best for three consecutive years running. When we introduced the CTS Coupe, we said we're going to be the number one coupe in terms of compact and mid-luxury coupes. And in fact, that is exactly what we are. And of course, the Escalade continues to be the gold standard for full-size luxury utilities. So we have proven that we can do it. Our challenge has been, quite candidly, we've had a deficit in terms of the number of products that we've been able to offer. And our dealers have done a tremendous job living off of three entries, the CTS, the SRX, and the Escalade, continuing to do a great job of satisfying customers. But now, 
this is happy time for us, ladies and gentlemen. Because as Dave mentioned, we are in the midst of an unprecedented launch of a new product. It began with the XTS, which is now on sale in your dealerships, if you can find one, because they are flying off the lots just as soon as they come in on the trailers. We've already heard stories. I mean, you've heard about this. There have been commercials that have filmed. We actually have stories of people following carriers into the dealership, buying a car literally off the carrier because it looks so stunning, and it's a fantastic vehicle. XTS for us introduced Q, the Cadillac user experience, an all-new touchscreen interface. It's all about connectivity, control, and convenience, done in a really simple, elegant way. It can be as simple as you'd like it to be, and it can be as complex and engaging as you'd like it to be as well. The XTS is at the upper end of our sedan lineup, so it's positioned above CTS. The ATS comes in below the CTS, and so now we have a full complement of sedan products for our customers. ATS is especially significant for us for three reasons. Um, number one, first and foremost, it competes in the compact luxury segment. Compact luxury is the largest luxury segment not only in the U.S., but around the world. And so, for the first time, really ever, we've got a vehicle that competes in the heart of the volume space of luxury. Number two, those tend to be the customers that are entering luxury for the first time. Young people who are at a point where they can purchase and afford luxury. And so, it's an entry point into many brands for those people. And so again, from a Cadillac standpoint, we've been in a bit of a deficit because we haven't had an entry there. And then finally, within Compact Luxury, it tends to be the place where you are defined as a luxury brand. And perhaps there's no better place that that exists than with the BMW 3 Series. They, in a sense, are defined by that vehicle. Which is why, when it came to competing in this segment, because again, remember what I said, we aim to be the segment leader in every space in which we can. We knew we had to start with a clean sheet of paper, and we knew we had to deliver the goods. You'll get a chance to experience the vehicle in a moment, and you can help us determine whether or not we've succeeded in that endeavor.